The Roosevelt High School Band is playing an old but new tune to them. The band barely existed two years ago. A big part of it was budget cuts. Then a new teacher came into the Minneapolis school and is trying to resurrect the program. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of instruments for all of those students. WCCO's Holly Wagner went to the school today. So, Holly, you know, it's, I mean, it's hard to build a program. You know, the instruments to play in the band, right? Yeah, it sure is. You know, and those instruments are really expensive. They can cost hundreds, even a thousand dollars. Money the school certainly doesn't have. So the band teacher has decided he'll make a run for it. And one and two and. Bum, bum, bum. When Tom Wells took the job as band director at Roosevelt High School, he was up for a new challenge. Recruiting new musicians was the easy part. I love playing music and um, yeah, it's fun. His first day two years ago, he had two students. Today, he has 85. Students want to play if their if their families aren't able to supply an instrument. Oftentimes, that means they don't play one. And so that's what we're trying to change. Tom says most of the school's instruments were given away as the program went downhill. Of the few that are left, they're in rotten shape. Some of these students are playing their own, while other aspiring musicians like Tiana, waiting for one, are patiently waiting for a chance to play. To the top we go. Tom raised a few hundred dollars over the summer, which helped out a couple of students like Shamare Dennis. I had an old saxophone that really did not work that well, so um, he gave me this one and it plays really well and it's cool to use it. With current and future students in mind, Tom and five other teachers will take the band on the run at the Twin Cities Marathon in hopes of raising $25,000 for the music program. An exhausting and demanding feat, but for Tom, it's about creating opportunity. There's a number of students who hadn't played in three, four years and picked up their instrument again. That to me is pretty inspiring. And so far, they've raised $8,000. They've got a month to raise the rest. They did put together a Facebook page fittingly titled Band on the Run. We put that link on our website if you want to check it out. And Frank, I just have to say the student, these students have quite a teacher because he has, uh, in the past, he ran a couple of marathons, but he's 58 now. He says this one might feel a little bit different. Uh, yeah, that's challenging for sure. Well, we wish him luck. Hopefully people check out the Facebook page. Maybe people can help him out with instruments. That'd Certainly be awesome. Hope so. All right, me too. Thanks.